Hey guys, so welcome to another video. It's Tristan, and today I'm going to be asking to the finals of Miss Universe Philippines this year. So without wasting our time, let's get right into the video. I love to show this so much, seriously. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think that's my best Miss Universe Philippines. Wow, wow, the bottom one from Jurak. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, what for our contestants? The contestants are coming in. Oh my goodness. They are so stunning. They are all stunning. I like the sashes, I like the outfits, and there's so much noise. If you can hear this noise, you can imagine how the noise is actually in the room, honestly. Whoa, whoa! Yes, yes, she's not new to this. That's why the whole crowd is cheering on her. Wow, well, Valencia. Thank you. Ooh, yay! <laughs> so, guys, before I proceed, I want to say that really these are what I'm looking for tonight. I have Alex the Books from Ilo Ilo. I have Stacey Daniela from Canita Rizal. And I have Tara Valencia from Baguio. Yeah. For Alexi, I knew her ever since she was rumored to join some years before. And then. For Stacey Daniela, I watched her at Billy Bling Filipinas in 2022 and then for Tara Valencia, I discovered her at the start of the competition. And then for Tara Valencia, I discovered her at the start of the contest and she was just good and generally, I love all girls from Baguio. Yeah, girls from Baguio at Mission West Philippines, they do so well. So these are them right here and so far, I've not followed the preliminaries and other events before this to so know who I know, you know, yeah, but still, I want to wish them all the best going to the competition. Um, yay, yay, we we'll have the host, guys. Oh my god. I'm so happy that Alboni is here, seriously. By the way, guys, I'm so sad for the current Miss USA resigning and all that. Like, I pity her so much. I don't know what's happening to Miss USA, seriously. Let's start with announcing the winners of the individual challenges. Nueva Ecija. Nueva Ecija, congratulations. So guys, I don't know these ladies, but I want to support them all, oh, seriously. Yeah, I don't know the majority of them, but I want to support them, still. Yay, Alexi Brooks, yes, 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 Alexi Brooks, oh my god. I'm, I'm going to be happy tonight, seriously, Alexi is here, congratulations, Alexi. Damn, she's so fine tonight, I like the look, I like the hairstyle. Like, she's so herself here, she's so sexy, I'm so happy. Congrats, Alexi, congrats. Congratulations, lady, one of the challenge winner. She really knows how to work. I saw the way she walked and entered, and she really knows how to work. Yeah. Hawaii! Hawaii, wow, congratulations. I like the look, guys. I like the look. She's different. The hairstyle, the hairstyle is different, and she looks good. Yeah. Casting challenge winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Pampanga. Pampanga. Congratulations. Pampanga. <laughs> they said Pampanga. I thought it was Pampanga for last year. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Pampanga. Wow, she's really beautiful. Yeah. United Kingdom. UK. Yes, 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 yes. I'll I'll watch the swimsuit challenge. Or this swimsuit, I don't know, but one of the challenges, yeah, and I love UK. Or well, swimsuit challenge, I'm sure. Swimsuit photos, I don't the know, but I really enjoyed UK. Kazan Province. Kazan Province. Well, the crowd is on fire. Atisha Manaldo. Okay, she's not new to this. Congratulations. It's not her first time. That's why everybody knows her. Congratulations. Cebu. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cebu. Congratulations. Guys, please, I need Baguio. I need Baguio and Kanita Rizal, please. Congratulations. Northern California. Northern California. Congratulations. Baguio. Yay, Baguio. Yes, Baguio is here. <laughs> Tara is here. Congratulations, Tara. Congratulations. Oh my god, she's so fine. Like, she's beautiful. That's why I'm listening to the Philippines. You know, Tara is Alexi. I need to taste Daniela Laguna. now, please. I need to taste Daniela right now. Laguna, congratulations, Laguna. Yes, taste. Oh my god, guys. Oh my girls are here. Yes, yes. Yes, guys. Oh my girls are here. My three girls are looking for that. Here, as you can see, I'm so happy, seriously. Zambales. Zambales, congratulations. 
Guys, one year just passed like that. Like, it was just last year I was talking about Christine Opiza, and right now, oh my god. Oh my god, Tagik. Yeah, I want Tagik. I'm not Tagik. I want Tagik to be here. Palawan conversations. I think um Tagik. Yeah, I think Tagik needs, needs. I think Tagik needs to be here. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, it's Tagik. Yeah, it's Tagik. Chrissy. I know that face. I know her face. I'm seeing her face everywhere. So I want her to be here. Conversations, Mr. Tagik. Conversations. Australia. Australia. Conversations. Oh my goodness. Black man. Congratulations, Chelsea Manalo. Wow, she's gorgeous. I'm looking for her. A woman of color. I have to look for her. Our top 20 is Basic. Oh my god, I'm so sad for them. Top 20. Basic, congratulations. So guys, that's the top 20. So far, I'll say it's okay. All my girls are here and as you can see, I've added Mr. Geek on my list also. Yeah, I've added Tagik on your list. So let's wait and see. I'm praying for these four girls to move forward and go up, up, up. And whoever deserves to be the title should win. But so far, I'll say I'm happy. Yeah, I want to wish them all the best. Not different. She's taking her time. She's working. I love what I'm seeing. Yeah, she's good so far. But I think she'll give more energy. You know, it's fine. I was expecting more energy from her. But the swimsuits are really hot, seriously. I just feel like she could give some more energy tonight, but still, I want to wish her all the best. Yeah. Alexi, oh my goodness. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's okay now. Oh my god. That was so sad, seriously. But I hope it doesn't discourage her. I like the work. She is so sexy as always. I love the look, love the earrings. Damn, look at these movements, guys. Look at her body movements. Look at the pose. It's hot AF, like that's good, but that's good, yeah, that's good. That's good, Alex. But I feel like she could do some more, you know. Next up, okay, lady. I think they should be lady, I'm sure. Lady, she's beautiful, guys. Seriously, I love her movements, I love her work. Oh my god, that thing with the hair was awesome. Yeah. I, she looked kind of like too stiff here. I don't know, but she looks stiff. The work is good, but then her animations were kind of stiff for me. This one, I like the hairstyle. Yeah, I spoke about the hair before. I still love the hair. This should be Hawaii. Hawaii is so beautiful. She is so stunning. Damn, damn. She's fine, yeah. I like the fact that she's not doing too much, she's just simple, you know. That's good, yeah, but guys, I feel like the performance tonight is kind of like under average, you know, maybe the music, but I think they could do more. Tak Takloba, some sort of that sort. The work was good. Damn, her fishers, her fishers, guys. Her fishers, the witch was giving us fees. She's she's good, yeah, she's good. I enjoyed her, yeah, I enjoyed her. The long hair also was really good. Look, guys, I like her face. What's tak tak something? This should be Kanita. No, not Kanita. Okay, Pampanga. Pampanga, that's good. I like Pampanga's work. I like, I like her face too, guys. I like Pampanga's face also. It's really beautiful. Damn, damn, damn. She fine. She fine, the hair fine, she fine. Pampanga, that's good, yeah. Just look at her face, look at the face that she's giving. I'm really enjoying Pampanga. United Kingdom, I love what her face. And she's real curvy. Oh my god, that's moving from the floor. Why is her name on the floor? That's that. Guys, but look at her face, guys. Imagine what her face can do at this universe or at the other pigeons that they choose. She's very really good. United Kingdom, that's good. Yeah, I wish you could do more, but that's good. I like it. I'll take it. I'll take that. Quezon Province. Wow, wow, Quezon Province. Wow. I'm getting Pauline Amelie's vibes from here. Seriously. She's giving me Pauline Amelie's vibes, honestly, but she's still good. Yeah.
Okay, that's beautiful, Kevin Province. Yeah, but I'm feeling the Polin Amelix vibes, you know. Yeah, yeah. Cebu. Wow, Cebu. Cebu is sexy. I'll say Cebu is good, but I feel like she could give more. She could give more. Seriously. What's happening tonight? I'm not feeling it. Maybe the music, but that music is so bad. Seriously, the music that it shows is so bad. I also like this one, the eye contact, so I love her eye contact too. So what state is this? I don't know what state this is, but I love her, yeah. I like when contestants do things to their eyes, like I'm just, I don't know what's happening when they do things to their eyes, I just get all fucked up. Okay guys, we're at Northern California. She's sexy, I'll say she's sexy, yeah. That, that was what the work is giving. She's really soft. I like Northern California. I think she had to clean the scene so far. That's good, Northern California. And her smile also was so nice for me. Baggy, oh my goodness, Star Valencia. I like the swimsuit that she chose. It's so sexy. The hairstyle is good as always. Like, damn, that tone was perfect. And so clean, so clean, so perfect, so smooth. Her face is beautiful. Oh my god, her smell, guys. Her smell. I don't think she has to dance. That dance was not good. Seriously, it was not the best. But still, I'm looking for that. For that one. Yeah. She's so beautiful, bag your bag. That was so good. Laguna. Laguna, mm, I don't know what to say, seriously, I don't know what to say, but it's not bad, yeah, not bad, but I don't know what to say, but she's beautiful, guys, seriously, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, I'm falling off for everyone, seriously, I like her work, yeah, her work is unique, I wish she put her hand on her waist, throughout out her movements, but that was a unique work, yeah, that's beautiful, that's good, Stacy. yeah, that's good, yeah, I can't help but feel that they could do more in general, you know, everyone could do more in general, seriously. But still, I want to wish them all the best, yeah. Zambales. Zambales, I'll say she's giving strong energy, she's coming off like she's giving the vibes, like she's confident, she's strong. And I love that in the ladies, yeah. I like her eyes too, her facial features are just brightening, they're just beautiful, yeah. Wow, look at her body guys, her hips. She's so sexy, seriously. I'm not lying. She is so so sexy, Palawan. Palawan is so sexy. Sexy, she's sexy, she's beautiful. She's so perfect though. <laughs> she's perfect, yeah. Palawan is beautiful. Tagik, oh my god. Wow, Tagik. I think Tagik is the one for tonight. Like Tagik, I'm seeing Tagik, Lolo, and Bagyo. Yeah, for me, I think Tagik, Lolo, and Bagyo are up there. And Tagik is doing well so far. Like she's not disappointing. She's really beautiful. Seriously, look at that face. Oh my god, Tagik is really yeah. Australia, Australia, Australia is awesome. Yeah, Australia is good. She's good. Yeah, she's awesome. That's beautiful, Australia. Bulacan, please don't disappoint, okay? Okay, she started. She started. She was going slow, but now she's really giving it. Bulacan. I like her face. I like Bulacan because she's so sexy, she's so beautiful, and she's a woman of color. So definitely, she has to be on the list. Yeah, Pasik, Pasik, Pasik. Yeah, Pasik. So guys, for swimwear, I said it was below expectations, and the energy was so low. Seriously, but I really enjoyed Taco something, Lolo, Pampanga, UK, North California, Baguio, Laguna, Quinta, Zambales, Palawan, Tagik, Pasik, and Bulacan. As you can see, these are them here. Yeah, I got them down. So let's wait and see who moves forward or what comes next. Be part of top 10 is... Cebu! 
Cebu. I think it's Cebu. Wow, congratulations, Cebu. Congratulations. She was not on my list, but congratulations. Yeah. Girl, what is one behind the scene pad secret that you can share with the world? Oh, this is one secret that I love to share to everybody. All the girls, well, not all really, but a lot of the girls called me Ate, our big sister. When I entered into the pageant, I was kind of uh, curious about it and I was a bit shy when these girls would call me Ate because it would show my age. But now that I'm very, very proud of it because they look up to me. And, uh, they look up to me and share beautiful stories. And this is one thing I'm very, very proud of. Your Ate is here. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute, oh, seriously. That is so good. Thank you so much, Cebu. Oh, see, that's so cute. Yeah. All right. You know what I like about that? Yeah? That Ate's age is still a secret. That's a good beauty. I love it. I can't agree more, seriously. According to me, I think age is also like just a number, seriously. It's personality, maturity, and all that. If someone asks me to talk about myself, I'll say everything but not my age, seriously. So, I enjoy this. Yay, Alexi! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Alexi. Hello. Let's hear her voice. All right, I see this crowd is in for you. Are you ready for the question? Let's do it. Now, if you could hit the rewind button in your MUPA journey, what moment would you play back? Well, every day that I get to spend with this girl is the most amazing of my lives. But if there's one moment that I want to go back, probably those days that we were in Sultan Kudarat, when we did a national costume there, though all the girls were really exhausted, that's when we see the sisterhood that is in there. So this is really more of like a celebration for us. Yes, Alexi, yes, yes. Beautiful, yes. thank you so much. By the way, guys, some weeks ago, I and my friend Ivan talked about the national costumes. I'll leave the links up here and down here. You can go check that out after this. Hola, hi! Khan. Congratulations, Black Hand. She was on my list. I'm so happy. Congratulations. Hello. Okay, Miss Bulagan, are you ready for your question? Let's do this. I want to know, what are you looking forward to? You had the choice. Not being able to wear heels or getting your favorite food delivered to you anytime, any day, wherever you are in the world. So one of the things that I also want to share here is that I love to eat ice cream. It's one of my comfort foods. So behind the stage, whenever I get to eat ice creams while wearing my heels, is both thing that I actually like to share with you guys. So it's a both win for me. Okay, seeing how you walked earlier, I got the visual. The ice cream and the heels, that's a secret. Thank you so much. Tagi! Yay, Tagi. <laughs> yes, now I want Baggio and Kinta. Yeah, Baggio and Stacy. Congratulations, wow, right. congratulations. Congratulations. Are you ready for your question? Let's go. During the pageant, what is the one thing that you missed most? It would very much be, and I'm sure my girl would agree, uh, spending quality time with family and friends. Because That's true, fortunately, yes. we, are get to, we get to spend time with one another, but we do miss out on moments. We're so consumed with the pageant, but soon enough, we're all going to be able to spend time with them again. So we're looking forward to that hey, for sure. Yes. And they're chewing on. You yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Bakro! Bakro, congratulations. After tonight, who in the entire world are you looking forward to spending your time with? So, a lot of you will know that in 2021, my parents were not able to come and watch me compete in Miss Universe Philippines. Victoria. I am so proud to know that they are sitting right over there. <laughs> and I am so, so, so looking forward to spending as much time with them as possible, especially given it's dad's first time back in the Philippines in 10 years. So, welcome back. Wow. Pampanga! Pampanga. Conversation, Pampanga. Yes, she was on my list, guys. Congratulations, Pampanga. She was on my list. Hello. Congrats. She's so fine. I'm ready, too. Let's go. Okay, so we want to know, you can't always have good days here. So when you're not feeling your best, who did you call or what did you do to feel better? You know, when I'm not feeling at my best, I would always call 
my sisters. I have 52 lovely sisters behind my back. And every time I feel done, whenever people would always question my capacity, there will always be 52 lovely sisters in my heart who always push me to be at my best. Yes, oh, from Panda. I felt yeah. that. I felt Just that. For life. You guys maybe get matching tattoos? No. <laughs> we're good to go now. Congratulations. <laughs> Season province, congratulations. I think I should, I think this is Atisha. Congratulations, congratulations. If you were on a deserted island, I want to know out of all these ladies here, who would you pick and be smart about it now because you're stuck there? Oh, good. Damn, damn, damn. How many can I pick? Um, I'm for sure a lot of the girls would feel bad if I just pick one. I have a lot of best friends in this competition. But I would pick Miss Karina because she is a mom and she, I know she would be able to take care of me and I take care of her as well. Ah, that's so sweet. Seriously, that's so sweet. You always pick a mom. I Moms know what to do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. She's so nice, so guys. Smart. I like her personality so much. Kaita! Yes, yeah, Stacy. Yes, yes, Stacy. Oh my god. Ah, guys, yes, yeah, Stacy is here. Yeah. You have never told anybody else before. Go. Are you kidding me? In front of the whole universe? We're your family. It's Filipino. Okay, well, I, I guess the secret will be that I have so much hairspray on, I am extremely flammable. So don't come near me, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We got humor. Thank you. <laughs> Zambales, well, congratulations, she was on my list. Conga Zambales, Conga Zambales. Are you freaking out? Yeah, I'm so happy and she's shaking. Okay, I'm gonna hold you. Let's say you're about to go on a date with someone who's never gone on a date with someone Filipina. <laughs> you get to take them anywhere and do anything you want. What's the date? Ooh, as we all know that our country has so much to offer and in my province as well we have so many tourists incredible tourist destination and I would love to date that you know foreign man at first to drop by to my home because we would have the time to share a simple yet sumptuous home-cooked meal prepared by my mama and I know that through that <laughs> moment he will know and experience that much hospitality and how incredible Filipino are and I think that is the reason why they will not just visit but they will keep coming back to the Philippines for us Filipina and for our food thank you I like Good that day. I like Good that day. yeah thank you so but much. I think she went so far like I mean, home home but anyways yeah. I like that bag you bag you please bag you bag you yes yes Yes, 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 bag you, yes, yes, bag you, yes. Congratulations, you made it! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so happy, guys. Let's get to know you a little bit better. She's gorgeous. Hard question, or maybe not for you. What makes Filipino women the most awesome, amazing women in the world? Every Filipino men are empowered women. And I see it through my mother because when my father passed away, I see the courage, the strive to be strong, to take care of our family. And I believe that that is the true as of how every empowered Filipino woman should really emanate up to now. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, by you. Yes. Women. We love our moms. For the top 10, 8 girls out of my 13 girls made it. I'm so happy as you can see. This is my kid. And I'm so happy. And I think I'm okay with the results. Yeah, I'm so okay with it. So I'm to wish them all the best and let's wait and see what happens. Guys, I have to say for the evening gowns, I like the production. Wow, Cebu. Wow. Okay, Christopher Johnson. Okay. The gown is beautiful. Like, the gown is beautiful. It matches so well with the stage. She looks divine seriously the hairstyle is something traditional but the gown itself is amazing damn 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 she's so fine here like i'll not deny that she's so fine Cebu on my list wow alexi wow wow oh my goodness wow damn 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 her designer her whole thing 
amazing. Like this is divine. Oh, God. She is so beautiful. The hairstyle, the performance, over the top, seriously. That green dress is awesome. The design of the dress, the walk, her back, the skin showing, the face. She served, yeah, she served. She served so well. Wow, Bulacan. She brought the whole bed sheet with her. I don't like the white. I like the fur going on, but I think it's a little bit too much and then a little bit too distracting from the actual dress. And everything is just white, 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 so I don't see no details, you know, but still I enjoy the look, yeah. I like the face also, like, going up here, I enjoyed that so much. She was beautiful, she was divine, I love the look. She's so gorgeous, seriously, that's good. Wow, Tagi. Tangix is so elegant. It's so so elegant, seriously. I love the white. I love the rhinestones, whatever that's going on there. I like the skin showing just enough. The dress shows her body so well, shows her curves, you know. And then she's fine. Hairstyle is beautiful. Work is sexy. Work is elegant, slow, taking her time, the lighting. Everything about this look is divine. Tagi, Christy, that's so good, Christy. Seriously, I'm looking for her. Tagi. You can be the next Miss Universe Philippines. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Damn. That's good, Tagi. Like, that's good, seriously. That's good, Tagi. Damn. Damn. I love Tagi, seriously. Like, Victoria Velasquez. Oh my goodness. Wow. She's so sexy. She came with sexy. I like the work, I like the look. I think she could pick a different color, not red, but at the same time, the red is so unique, it has details. But it's distracting, the transparency is distracting for me, seriously. But still, I want to wish her all the best. Yeah. It's a little bit distracting for me, seriously. But I want to wish her all the best. She did so well, still. Pampanga. I like the face. I like the face that she's giving, yeah. The dress too is beautiful. The work is great. The dress has to do. I feel like up here could have a different design, you know. It could be something more better for my style. But still, I want to wish her all the best. Yeah. I like the face. The face cut does not disappoint. The face cut is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She's really fine, seriously. She's really fine. I don't lie, she's so fine. <laughs> That's good. Kazon Province. Wow, Atisha Manaru. Wow. Wow. I love the hairstyle. I love the red look. It's so divine. Oh my god, the way she's turning. Oh my goodness. The dress is so fine. The work is there. Enough leg showing. The necklace also, I love the look so much and she's beautiful, just look at her face. She's so beautiful, seriously, she's so so good. The eye contact. She reminds me of Pauline Amelie, seriously, I'm getting Pauline vibes from her. But I think she's been better than Pauline, I think she's been better than Pauline, seriously, for a comeback. I think she's been more than pulling, but answer me sure all the best. Yeah. This year, guys, I'll be honest, I want a fresh face. Wow, Stacy, interesting. I like the dress, but I wish Stacy picked something else, honestly. It's sexy, it's beautiful, it shows her curves so well. It shows her future so well, but I wish she was something else, honestly. But I still love her. Yeah. The smile was, oh my god. She's gorgeous. So guys, as I was saying, I want a fresh face to win this universe for the things. I don't want a recycled face. Yeah. So personally, I think for the winner, I'll pick Ila Ilo Ilo Ubagio. Yeah, I want Ila Ilo Ilo Ubagio. I don't know if Taki is a written time. 
Ilo, Ilo Bagi or Tagi, yeah, any of them. I don't think there are bidding contestants for say about someone them swimming. I don't spend a recycled face to go to swim in the school things this year. Zambales. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Damn, Zambales. Damn. What a presentation. She's then walking a little bit too slow. So you're okay. The walk is then a little bit too slow. But I love the look. Yeah, the look is beautiful. I like her face also. I see this face as something like Miss Charm, Miss Supernational. I don't know, but the face is just so fine. Her features are amazing. Oh my goodness. Right turn let's see if he was perfect. Look at us. I like that. I like the fact that she made it but she never turned and looked at us and looked at I like that. Yeah, that's something you need. Yeah. Baggio. Wow! Baggio does not disappoint. Oh my goodness, they don't disappoint when it comes to looks and all that. They don't disappoint. This is perfect. It's sexy, it's beautiful. From top to bottom, the neck lining, the necklace, I don't know, but damn bad you, damn, damn, damn. Bad you is perfect, seriously. Perfect. She's perfect, she's beautiful. Like, look at that face, guys. Oh my goodness. Bad you, oh my goodness. So beautiful. For the evening gowns, I'll say I was so impressed. They all did so so well. I was not disappointed. Personally, I like Cebu, Lulu, Bulacan, Tagik, Kezon Province, Kinta, Zambales, and Baguio. But I think Tagik and Baguio did really really well. As you can see, each year these are those I like for gowns. As you can see, Baguio and Tagik up here. But I want to wish them all the best. Let's see who gets to move forward. The first delegate in the top five is. Kids of Province! Congratulations, congratulations, Kids of Province. Congratulations! Bagyo! Yeah, Bagyo Tower! Yes, Tower! Yes, Tower Valencia! Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations, Bagyo! Tagik and Iloilo. I want Tagik and Iloilo, seriously. Stacy, yes, Stacy, congratulations, Stacy. Yes, yes. Wow. Guys, Tagik and Iloilo. Tagik and Iloilo, please. Two spots left, and one of them belongs to. Tagik and Iloilo. I like Tagik or Iloilo, please. Yes, Tagik. Bulacan. Bulacan. Congratulations, Bulacan. Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, Tagik or Iloilo. Tagik, I think Tagik. Tagik! Not of Tagik. Not of Tagik. So guys, for the top 5, I'll say it was okay because all the ladies called, they were on my list as you can see here. Personally, I'm so sad for Ilo Ilo. Like, I've been rooting for Alexi ever since she was crowned and Top 10 is still something, but I wish we went for that, you know, but I'm happy with that, yeah. So right now, I want Aira Tagik or Bagyo to win, but let's see what happens. Women learn from each other. What is the biggest lesson that you've learned from another woman, and how did it improve your life? My grandmother put me through school, and the biggest lesson I have learned from her is to always be kind. She is someone who has a big heart and took care of me since I was a kid, and I do think that my grandmother is someone that I can look up to. She is someone that is an embodiment of what a great woman is. Thank you. Also definitely the answer was good. She was so fluent, straight to the point. No mistakes talking about her grandmother. I enjoyed it and I want to wish her all the best. What is your breakthrough or big achievement and how did it improve you as a person? Being here in this prestigious pageant or the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 is my greatest achievement. The Tara before is someone who doesn't really limit, who really limit herself when it comes to her achievements. 
where I step here and here, here in this Miss Universe Philippines and I see the transformation, the improvement and how I was able to become in, an inspirational woman that I am now. And that is somewhat, something that I will be proud of after this journey. Thank you. So guys, for Baguio, I enjoyed her first of all. She looks good. She was talking elegantly, but I think she was nervous and making those little mistakes, you know. And definitely, I think tonight I have a sound issue also. So I think that um, being nervous and not talking so fluently and then the sound issues also, it just made everything a little more worse, you know. Definitely, I want to wish her all the best. I think she can do well in other areas, but I think talking and question and answer might be her weakness. Yeah, but still, I think she's so great. I want to wish Baguio all the best and I'm not giving up on her. Women have inspired you all throughout your life. Now tell us about how you have inspired another woman. You know, I've been told many times that I am too short to join a beauty pageant. But now I realize that pageants are a representation, a reflection of that very nation. And tonight, I am not only representing myself, but every Filipina woman sees themselves in me. I hope to inspire every Filipina that just like the universe, we too are limitless. I said definitely this answer was good, yeah, but I think they were asking her to tell us about the time where she inspired another person and I don't think she really said something like that, but she was saying that she hopes to continue inspiring. I don't know if she really answered the question, but she was fluent and the way she started off by saying that she was told that she could not do it without her. She's here. Definitely that's something. And I want to wish her all the best and see where this answer puts her. You are beautiful and confident. How would you use these qualities to empower others? As a woman of color, I have always faced challenges in my life. I was told that beauty is has standard, actually. But for me, I have listened to always believe in my mother, to always believe in yourself, uphold the vows that you have in yourself. Because of these, I am already influencing a lot of women who are facing me right now as a transformational woman. I have here 52 other delegates with me who have helped me to become the woman I am. Thank you. So guys, I think Bulacan's answer was so solid and so good. And I think that might just be the first that I really enjoy. Talking about facing challenges, but still not giving up. And just believing in yourself, believing that you are worth something, you can do it. That was very empowering. So I really enjoyed that so much. And definitely, I want to wish out all the best. I definitely see Bulacan going forward because it's the first answer that I really enjoy throughout. What is the biggest challenge you faced as a Filipino woman? And what do you do to hurdle the challenge? I think one of the biggest challenges that Filipina face today are being limited by still being shadowed by, unfortunately, men or in society. But I think with my platform and me standing here in front of you today, I can encourage women that you too can stand up, you can be strong, you can be powerful, you can own your own destiny like I plan to tonight. The question was individual, like what do you do to overcome these challenges? But instead, she gave a general answer. Like instead of talking about what she does, she was like, "Women can do this." I think it was correct, yeah. But still, maybe it's not really much up the question. But still, I want to wish her all the best. So, guys, for question and answer, I think I really enjoyed Bulacan and Kazan for friends. They did so so well to me personally. I add back you because there's still time for training. I love her so much. She's my bias, obviously. But I think that there's still time for her to train more for question and answer. And then in other rounds of competition, she was perfect. So I think definitely Bagu, Bulacan, Kazan Province, around those streets move forward and I want to wish them all the best. Let's see what happens. Miss Universe Philippines 2023, Chelsea. Hey, Michelle. As we reach this incredible moment together, it the seems work. like we've achieved something truly special. This year, the work, my guys. My I like the fact that she repeated that phrase and then the work. Oh my goodness. What it truly means to be Miss Universe Philippines and to become that responsibility I didn't feel like it. Its success is not mine to celebrate alone, though. To my family, my mom, my dad, my mommy. And to my siblings who have inspired me more in ways than I can count, thank you for showing me how to pursue life. To my core, Dave Kimbao, Nalisa Boy, Harry Hartman, Ian Mendahar, Kefir Mill, Carl Joshua, Joy Marcelo, Ryuji Shimitsu, Mama Elmo, Mama Roger, ASP Philippines, GMA7, my digital team personified 
and of course to my best friends who are watching you with us tonight. Thank you for enduring all of those sleepless nights, picking me up whenever I fall down, and even traveling halfway across the world for me. To Mark Bumgarner, Michael Barassi, and the teams behind them, thank you on behalf of our country. Your designs will forever be presented in our history books and also forever tattooed in my heart. But of course, to my home for those two years, thank you for trusting and believing in me. So Jonah, you are a true creative visionary. But beyond that, I've come to truly understand why we all call you Mama J. Of course, to you, Sir V, last eight years you've seen my potential and your belief in me has never faded. And to the rest of my Miss Universe Philippines family, El John and Derek most especially, thank you for allowing me to share our stories and our triumphs through my eyes. This may be the end of my reign, but this is the start of a beautiful chapter. To the next queen, my best advice is to move and live with purpose. Be certain of who you are and why you are here. The crown will always be a symbol of triumph, but when? or lose, it's the lives that you touch that will really make a difference. And finally, to my supporters and fellow Filipinos, together we have showcased the true power of our Bayanihan spirit. Thank you for seeing the potential in me and for rallying behind me when it matters to me. This is our collective success. This is the country we are proud to call our home. And we will always be proud to call ourselves Pinoy. Maraming maraming salamat. Filipina, I am, for the last time, Michelle Marquez D. Signing off. Michelle D's final work is the best final work I've ever seen in any pageant. First of all, I'll say the fact that she was giving credits to everyone and giving them name after name, listing name after name, name after name. I think in other years, we have seen people that just come and they're like, thank you to one to three persons. But Michelle gave everybody name by name, name by name, name by name, gave them credits, appreciated them with their names. I really enjoyed that so much, seriously. Like, it's something special, seriously. I like when people give credits to others and acknowledge their needs, acknowledge their efforts. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then she also repeated the dress that she wore at Miss Universe. Oh my God. At Miss Universe, I really enjoyed that dress so much. I like to eat. You guys can go check it out. But definitely, Michelle was stunning. Yeah, she's stunning now. I want to wish her all the best moving forward. I think she has a great personality. She's so kind, soft heart. I love her so much. Yeah. So guys, I thought there'll be a top TV, but there's not. It's straight to the results. And right now, I think I'll pick Kazon Province. Yeah. I think she has done well throughout. She answered her question so well. She was honest and I enjoyed her. Yeah, she has done so well. I think Blackhand can come in second place and bag you maybe. I don't know. But Kazon Province is my winner. But even if she does not win, whoever the judges pick, I think will be deserving. And I want to wish them all the best. They have all done so well. Yeah. By the way, please subscribe if you have not already. Please like the video, follow on Instagram, and let's move forward. Our Miss Universe 2024 fourth runner up is. Fourth winner up. Taggy! I knew it. Congratulations, Taggy. Congratulations, congratulations. I wanted her to go far, but unfortunately, the question was not. She never answered her question so well, but still, I want to wish her all the best. Yeah, she's really deserving. She has done so well. Congratulations, Mr. Geek. Miss Universe Philippines 2024. Third runner up is. Third winner up. Third winner up. Baggio! <laughs> Baggio. Congratulations, Baggio. Congrats, Baggio. Congrats, congrats. So beautiful, so elegant. From the start, I've had eyes on her. I'm so happy that she's here. Yeah. Kazon Province. Not Kazon, sorry, Kenta. Kenta, Stacy, Stacy Daniela. Kenta is a. Uh... Kazon Province! Oh my god. <sighs> I'm a little bit heartbroken, seriously. I'm a little bit heartbroken. I wanted Kazon Province to win, seriously. But. Bulacan, yeah, I'll say Bulacan. For me right now, it's Bulacan. I think it's Bulacan. The moment of truth. Our <laughs> <laughs>
Miss Universe Philippines 2024 is... Any of them, any of them can win, I'll be happy. Anyone can win, I'll be happy. Like, whoever wins, I'll support them. I've known Stacey for long, but Vulacan, her answer was so good. I don't know. <laughs> call the name, call the name. Bulacan! <laughs> ah! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry guys, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I want to have some. Oh my god, the crown can't even fit her head. That's I just the crown for her hair. The crown is hanging. Oh my goodness, that's a the crown. Oh, they should change. They should move her hair. I don't know. They should do something to the hair. The crown cannot fit. Wow. I bet she was not on your list, right? Surprise, bitch. <laughs> Surprise, bitch. I bet she was not on your list. Okay, that's just the crown. That's good. Ah, God. Surprise, bitch. She was not on your list, right? Yeah, yeah. She did it. Yes, yeah, she did it. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I think the winner was deserving. After question and answer, I said it that she did so well, and in the end, she won. I like that so much. Secondly, I don't know this lady before. I've not seen her before. I don't know anything about her. So I like the fact that someone is winning that I don't know, and it's also a fresh face. I enjoy that so much. For that, she's breaking stereotypes as a woman of color, and I can't wait to see her at the Miss Universe stage. Seriously, I want to wish her all the best. I want to wish them all the best. They did so well. The production was good, but the audio was not the best. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, thanks so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe for more videos, follow on Instagram, TikTok, and all that. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys in my next video.